This is my new BYD seal and I've been charging it last two weeks using the BYD supplied portable charger that plugs directly into an Australian wall socket. So how fast or should I say how slow is this charger? Let's find out in this video. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. It's Thursday night, 10.11pm and I've just plugged in my BYD seal in to charge. I've been using my seal down to 27% over the last few days. With 0.9 kilowatts of charging power, it will take about 50 hours to charge from 27% to 100%. As I leave it plugged on, it took about 2 minutes before the charging power slowly creeps up to 1.2 kilowatts. And about 8 minutes later, it reached its maximum power at 1.5 kilowatt and hovers around 1.4 to 1.6 kilowatt. It takes about 30 hours with 1.5 kilowatts charging power to charge from 28% to 100%. So I'm going to leave it to charge now and come back to check on it later. It's the next morning, Friday 7.31am and it has been charging for about 9 hours and 20 minutes and it has charged up from 27% to 49%, that's about 22% overnight. I'm going to let it charge for a few more hours before I head to the shops. It's 10.58am now, and over the last 3 and a half hours, it has charged up from 49% to 57%, so that's about 8% over 3 and a half hours. Well, I'm going to let it continue to charge for a bit before I head out. Okay, it's Friday 12.42pm now and over the last 1 hour and 45 minutes, it has charged up 57% to 62% and that's about 5%. I'm going to unplug the charging now and head to the shops. So let's recap. We started charging Thursday night last night at 10.11pm to Friday today at 12.42 p.m. That's about 14 and a half hours to charge from 27% to 62%. And that's about 35% of charging power. So I've unplugged the car and now I'm going to use it to drive it to the shops and use it for today. With 62% of charge, I drove from my home to the first shopping center and then to IKEA and then back to the first shopping centre, and then back home. At night, I drove to a friend's house, and back home. All in all, I travelled about 44 kilometres today, and I've used from 62% down to 50% battery. Okay, it's Friday night, 10.22pm. I just plugged in my BYD seal to charge again and it started with 1 kilowatt of charging power and once again it took a while before it reached 1.4 kilowatt and at 1.4 to 1.5 kilowatt it will take about 21 hours to charge to full. I'm gonna leave it now and let's check back in tomorrow morning. It's Saturday 9.46 am now. We've been charging from 50% to 78% for the last 11 and a half hours. I'm going to unplug it now so I can use it for today. Okay, it's Saturday night, 9.14pm now. I didn't use it much today. I drove about 20 kilometers to go to the park. I've used about 4% for today and I'm going to plug it in to charge. So this time round, it says it's going to take 11 and a half hours to charge to full. So hopefully, we can charge it up to 100% by tomorrow morning. Okay, right now it's Sunday morning 8.45am. It's at 97% full and it still requires 1 and a half hours to finish charging to 100%. Now, this time I'm wondering how much electricity it is drawing to charge the last 3% of the battery. So, I actually went to my electrical meter box. My meter reading is currently reading at 49,994 kilowatts hour at this time. Let's check back in in one and a half hours time when it's fully charged. 
Okay, and now it's 10.04 a.m. Finally, it has finished charging and my meter box is now showing 49,996 kilowatt. So between the last 1 hour and 15 minutes, it has drawn about 1.5 to 2 kilowatts hour, which sounds correct. So let's recap again. This is the summary of the battery percentage and consumption I have tracked over the last 3 days. Hopefully you find this video useful and please remember to give it a thumbs up if the video has given you a general idea of how slow this portable type 1 charger supplied by BYD takes to charge the BYD seal. By the way, this portable charger is apparently IP67 certified. It's manufactured by a brand called John Ho China. And there are so many repeated warnings on the label and instructions telling us not to use an extension lead with this charging cable. This QR code links us to the online instruction which I've provided in the description down below. Even though this portable mode 2 charger provided by BYD is really slow, I think this will be my main way of charging my BYD seal because it's the cheapest. I'm paying 30 cents per kilowatt hour for my electricity and I have solar panel on my house roof to harvest free electricity. EV charging stations in Australia are about 50 cents to 65 cents per kilowatt. Oh, and slow charging at home will also be gentle on my BYD seals battery to prevent battery degradation. How about you? Are you using charging stations or are you charging at home? Remember to subscribe to my channel for more of my BYD seal video.